dear students now we are going to discuss tuned amplifier and its types let's start with the definition the amplifier which amplifies only the selected range of frequencies using tuned circuit is known as tuned amplifier so here we are going to amplify only the selective range of frequencies using tuned circuit instead of the resistive load okay this is the diagram of single tuned amplifier where we can replace the collector resistance with this tuned circuit tuned circuit is nothing but the parallel combination of l and c the resistance in series with this inductance represents the losses associated with the inductance okay since the tuned amplifier amplifies the narrow band of frequencies it is also known as narrow band amplifier okay tuned amplifier is also called as narrow band amplifier the tuned parallel lc circuit resonates at a particular resonant frequency where we can get the maximum output so we can easily tune the lc parallel circuit to the particular frequency using the formula fr is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of lc and the resonant impedance zr is equal to l by rc okay next one is frequency response of a tuned amplifier this is the graph between gain and frequency at resonant frequency the inductive reactance is equal to the capacitive reactance that means both values can be cancelled each other at this point the tuned circuit is acting as a resistive load it can produce maximum output do you all understand this point at resonant frequency there is no imaginary term the impedance is purely resistive so it can produce maximum output whenever the frequency is less than the resonant frequency it can act as a inductive load whenever the frequency is greater than this resonant frequency the tuned circuit is acting as a capacitive load okay that's what given here the response of your tuned amplifier is maximum at resonant frequency condition at this point xl is equal to xc that is reactances cancel each other and the tuned circuit is purely resistive so purely resistive means it provides high impedance to get the maximum output okay so next advantages of tuned amplifier it provides very high efficiency and high gain it is mainly used to amplify the desired frequency range it has good signal to noise ratio at output side the band of frequencies can be varied it has very small power loss and high selectivity so this all are the major advantages of tuned amplifier next disadvantages since the inductors and capacitors are used in tuning circuits the circuit is bulky as well as costlier one here the design becomes complex for a high frequency band it is not suitable to amplify the audio frequency range okay it is only for radio frequency range okay so next applications of tuned amplifiers it is widely used in transmitters and receivers in communication system it is used in active filters like low pass filter high pass filter and band pass filter to allow the amplification only in the desired frequency range okay it is also used in am fm transmitters it is used as if amplifier if means what intermediate frequency amplifier in a super heterodyne receiver it is also used as wideband tuned amplifiers for video amplification etc so next one types of tuned amplifiers tuned amplifier is broadly classified into two types small signal tuned amplifier large signal tuned amplifier small signal tuned amplifier is widely used to amplify the small signals at radio frequencies with small power requirement large signal tuned amplifier is used to amplify the large signals at radio frequencies 
with large power requirement it provides less distortion it provides very high distortion in its output it works under class a mode operation here it is based on class a b class c amplifiers okay so next the small signal tuned amplifier is further classified into three types single tuned amplifier double tuned amplifier stagger tuned amplifier the single tuned amplifier is further classified into capacitance coupled single tuned amplifier transformer coupled it is also called as inductive coupled tuned amplifier let's discuss each type in detail as a separate lecture videos okay